Hey guys, it's me Alex. It's finally time for part two of the 3D printed background project. As you can see, I stopped by Target earlier today and I found a whole bunch of their products. That's why part two took so long to finish. Not that I didn't have the models finished, but I couldn't find any, any of the products, which I promised I would unbox them in this video. But before we talk about those, let's talk about the model. So at the time of this recording, I the model is all finished. I've got a few of these printed. This is the final model. Um, I am proud of how it turned out, me personally. Um, I tagged back on a post about it. They, they seem to like it very much. So the only thing different from this to the original Dragonoid is a few pattern mistakes, which I'll point out later. But the feet are made a model differently because I was still getting used to Fusion 360 but it unfolds the same way as the usual Dragonoid same as the prototype 4 however the only difference is that this has all of the detail on it so I also did, didn't put an attribute symbol on the models I'm gonna if I feel like it I'll release a set of wings left wings that have the circle filled in but but here it is here is the fully printed dragonoid as I mentioned I am very proud of how it turned out it was a passion project started because of battle planet and oh I had a lot of fun with it I also got one printed out in Translucent to kind of replicate the diamond effect or the Baku clears from B1. I'm not saying B1, just original background. Get that unfolded real quick, but I had a lot of fun modeling this, and as I said before, all of the models will be this model will be av available once this video is out, so it's free to download on my Thingverse, which check down below. So you can check that out. Also check part one of the video series, which will be above. So you can see how I got to this. But here is the white one. The front had a little bit of a print, error, print mistake. It's kind of indented here because the supports didn't print correctly. So that's all there is. But overall, again, I'm just super proud about how this turned out. And... I just want to make it clear, this is not the only model I'm going to work on. I have a whole bunch of models planned in the future. I have a Tertonium. I have a Leonidas in the works. I have a whole bunch of other fan Bakugan that people have submitted to me from Amino, which go check that out. I, Again, I really recommend Amino. Amino is a great place to find communities that pique your interest, but enough talking about the old Bakugan. Let's get to unboxing the new ones. So before we get on to unboxing the new Bakugan, I just want to compare the 3D model with the original Bakugan. So here is the Dragonoid. Here is a B1 Bakugan for scale. This is my Falconeer. And here is my B1 Dragonoid. As you can see, this thing kind of tower. It's half the size of a Deca, as I mentioned in my last video. But overall, I pr pretty much got it spot on. Now it's time to unbox some of the products. Put back there. What I've got, what we do is this we'll unbox trucks. Anilia's first. I have a Pegatrix off to the side that I opened already. Then we'll do the starter set. So first, let's look at the Pegatrix because I don't have that unboxed. Actually, I do have it unboxed. So this, these are the new core backer gun. They basically unfold. They're really easy to close. My sister got this one. She opened it already, which she regrets doing. But there's no more gate cards. You have the ability cards, which have the B power printed. So 
Pegatrix has 500 B power to attack, which that plays onto the rules later on. Same with this. And you get the Baku cores, which have different effects on them. They're like... I, I'm i using Yu-Gi-Oh for this. They look like the Yu-Gi-Oh trap cards. Or they work kind of the same way. So, we'll put Pegatrix off to the side for now. Let's open Trox. I I want to get Trox over the way. Not that I hate Trox. He just looks kind of goofy. But his Ultra looks really good. And especially the Diamond one. I'm definitely going to pick that up. If I get any extra money. There is his card. Hopefully, there's the issue with the core back gun is that the cards aren't protected. So, you take a gamble when you, whenever you buy one. So, it's going to be hard to get good condition mint cards. We have four separated here. One, one helix and one shield. Oh, minus 500B, and the Helix, I've seen a few YouTubers mention that they kind of have a trade-off ability, so you gain this, but you lose this. Um, there it is. This card's in pretty good con condition, except for a little dent under here. We have Trox, 500B power, one attack, nothing too special. But now, time to look. Uh, the actual Bakugan itself. Also, by the way, I bought these with my own money. Spin Master did not send these to me, sadly. I wish they did. So if someone at Spin Master is watching this, I wouldn't mind you sending me a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, Bakugan I held really tightly. Oh, it's like Pac-Man. I'll move that out of the way. We can look at trucks. So the arms are unfold out. Heads one piece. A spray on this is strong. Let's try folding them up. So these first. Those legs. Head and then. Wait. It's kind of both at the same time. Can't believe Bakugan's back. I so excited. All right. Um, uh, it's gonna take any use to. So all right. So I got it closed up. Here he is compared to a B one back. B one Bakugan. The B one is tiny than the B two. I do not have a Baku tech on me. Do not own one. So I can't use that for comparison. But try rolling him. Every time I open these, I'll just add just add on to the hive. So roll this. The magnet bottoms are really a lot bigger. There we go. So yeah, that is Trox. Now on to Nilius. Kodok mentioned that Nilius felt kind of hollow and cheap. Which time to see. He mentioned that maybe it was a plastic being used. Maybe not. We'll see. I thought, we all thought Nilius would be the new Hydronoid. But their Hydronoid is actually back in the show. Surprisingly. They redid the him completely so that he's natural hydra now. Um, yeah, this one's a lot easier to get out. Put it off to the side. This, this core is, is one fist and one helix. Getting the heal. Then his card. Same as Trox, but he has two attack instead. So Nilius seems to be better than Trox, but we'll see. Also, a few other people mentioned the 
kind of logo here where you kind of set icon right here is two globes which could be a reference to the original background with the whole two worlds colliding but yeah plus 500 b power minus one attack and then plus 100 to and then plus three to pyrus and um darkness yeah so add more to the matrix Get Nilius out. Nilius feels fine. I don't know what Korok was saying. I do not have a problem with him. Oh, wait, his tail didn't come out. Nilius, I think maybe with this batch they fixed it. Not too sure, but I do not have a problem with Nilius. Like, the middle is fine. Feels fine. I, I like Nilius a lot. It's like darkest background in general. Fold him up is easy. And tail. I missed. It's gonna. But yeah, pretty cool. On to the starter set, and then I'll save Diamond Dragonoid for last. Luckily, the target I was at had just got them, which, of course, I didn't find hiders. I don't know why. Maybe they got it already. Or there were, it also, it was weird that they had none of the ultras in stock. So the only way you can get ultra there is through the sets they had. I also want to get the arena eventually. So we got our six cores. Very nice. Off to the side. We have oh, we have our character cards, our forty card deck, and then the rule book and the checklist, which shows every background you can get. Wave one and two. I have to take this out. Packaging for these backgrounds is so tight, which I'm worried about my Dragonoid because there were cases where. I'm trying to think. He. The tail doesn't. gets bent in packaging, so he doesn't close. Like a little bit of his head sticks out, which I got worried. Also, what I'm really annoyed about with the. Do not want to open you yet? With the Diamond Bakugan, or for my Dragonoid, there was no character card included, so that might be a mistake by Spin Master. Not too sure. However, I feel like you should include the character card with the Diamond. That's just me. I don't run a multi million dollar company, so. I wish they would. Not do that, but at the same time, I can't really come judge them because I'm not in their shoes. So, our three Balkagon are our Hydras, Fangzor, and Ultra Garganoid. We'll look at Ultra Garganoid first because he's out already, but I, I love how Ultra Garganoid looks. Look, he, when I saw the first images, a few images of Bakugan, I, he was one of the ones I wanted. So let's try and fold him up. The spray on his tail is... Eh, I don't know. Um, let's see. Pretty sure it's like this, this. How to fold Garganoid. You know, it's head first, then the legs, then the arms, I believe. Yeah. Okay. 
Then the wings. I love how the new Aquas looks with the um, blues and oranges contrasting each other. This is really annoying. If I don't forget, I'll maybe cut to when I actually get it folded up. Cause I, I remember watching the video, but I didn't pay attention to it. I just want to see, oh, this is Garganoid. So, legs are in. What? This is... This is like... There we go. We got him folded up. But I like how Garganoid looks. Um, there's the arrow. We're roll him across. Oh, that was cool. Alright, he did a flip. Now onto Fangzor. Just... Kind of just pops out, which... Might be really good for the magnets on the bottom of these are pretty strong. And now on to hiders. So him and truck seem to be the only ones that have parts that fold out. Alright. Hydras has to be my least favorite back gun. No offense to anyone who likes it. Now on to Diamond Dragonoid. Have to open them off screen. And here we go. Here is the Dragonoid. This time it comes with a, with a flip card for the evolution, which that's nice. Too bad the bottom's dented. Like, I am disappointed in that. Pores. One fifty. Here are the two pores. And now on to the diamond the diamond from what from i'm pretty sure are chase figures so you only get them and once you they're the only they only make a certain amount of them and then like one per few first few shipments Is this can unfold? Diamond Dragon only looks like looks nice. Reminds me of I'm not gonna take him out, but back there I have the Baku clears. That'll be one. Springs on him are strong. That's what I like. So fold him up real easy. But I'm getting worried because of his head. Hopefully mine is not messed up. Oh, so look at that. Mine sticks out a little bit. Oh, bummer. Yeah, that is, I believe. Let me check real quick. Yeah, the plastic. They're so, they're held so tightly in the packaging that you can't really. Like, the parts get bent, and it's sad. Mm -hmm. So, the best way to get a Dragonoid that folds up correctly is to get one from one of the packs where they're still in the ball. So, that's all the Bakugan I've purchased, unboxed. Now on to my closing opinions on the whole project. So that was just a quick unboxing. It wasn't supposed to be a serious review of the figures, but overall, I kind of like Battle Planet. Now, I haven't had any experience with the trading card game, but I have played some of the basic game with my siblings, so overall, it's okay. The basic game has a lot of vibes from the original background game, but hopefully the TCG is better, but I can't say anything about it yet. Hopefully, if I get a few games in with with a few other people, I could get a separate video on the whole line, 
all wave one. Maybe also want to get a few more of the Bakugan. Also, I'd like to mention that it's really amazing how this whole project turned out. I started off Thanksgiving break with something like this. It barely holds together. It's small, not detailed enough. It even has a whole edge patch up on it. But now I have something as detailed as this. It only took me a month to make, which I am proud of myself personally. But I should, I'm working on a few more models as mentioned before, so better keep a lookout for those. I will, will have the Dragonoid model for free on Thingverse, my mini factory and pin shape. The Dragonoid models and all my future background models and 3D models will be available to download. Also, if you haven't checked out part one, which discusses all the prototypes, click above, there'll be an annotation. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe, and share the video with anyone who you think would be interested. Also, comment down below what background you model in the future, or if you have any other ideas for future models and videos. I'll take a look and see what I'm going to do next. Also, check out the background amino because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have finished this project. So, please go check them out. And also download amino. Amino is a great place to find people with the same interests as you. Overall, I really recommend amino. As mentioned before, you can find all of my models on my Thingverse, my mini factory, and pin shape. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all of the support. And I'll see you guys next time.